Hi everyone, Teddy Baldassar with teddybaldassar.com. In this video, we're looking at a classic dress watch from Longines with the Dolce Vita. So in this video and on this channel, we cover watches available for purchase on our website, teddybaldassar.com. So in this video, deep dive into this timepiece, final points of consideration at the end, but also throughout this video, if you have further questions, check out the link in the description to the product page where you can learn more, purchase the watch, and book a time with one of our dedicated watch specialists as well. But guys, let's jump into the video. Take a closer look at this watch. Now, if you're in the market for a rectangular case-shaped watch from one of the big name brands, you might be surprised to know how limited the choices really are. Of course, there are industry leaders such as Cartier and JLC who dominate the market with the Tank Collection and the Reverso. But outside of those two big names, the emphasis on this case shape as a core collection for a brand just really doesn't exist. However, that might be changing as trends and styles cycle back around, especially as vintage inspired designs are so prevalent in today's market. But in this video, we're gonna take a peek inside one of Longines' more underrated collections with the Dolce Vita and look at a well-priced and handsome automatic tank model or rectangular watch that offers some good value in this growing segment. Taking a look at the Dolce Vita on the wrist, we have a nicely proportioned case with measurements of 27.7 millimeters across and a lug to lug length of 43.8 millimeters to pair with the case height of just 9.9 .9 millimeters. While the case back is flat across, the case does have a nice rounded profile and the downward sloping lug angle provides a very pleasant wearing experience in totality. The watch stays firmly planted in place and with the practical case dimensions, this should wear well on nearly any wrist out there, large or small. Elegant polished surfaces adorn the entire case and rounded case sides with these smaller step shoulders creating a very dressy presentation with vintage art deck styling cues. At the three o'clock case position is a smooth and signed crown with a lip to assist with the grip, but otherwise it lacks any type of knurling found on most crowns out there. Nevertheless, it's still easy to engage. It is of the push-pull variety. Hand winding at the first position can be done with the second position adjusting the date. And at the farthest pulled out point, you then can adjust the time while stopping the second hand in the process. So hacking seconds here. Given this watch's dressy appeal, it is going to only be capable of 30 meters of water resistance, which given this type of approach, I don't see as much of a problem. Between the round lugs, Longines has installed an excellent 19 millimeter matte navy blue alligator strap with a large scale top side with a tanned underside that feels luxurious to the touch and is quite supple when strapped to the wrist, which not being heavily padded, which will make this one wear in rather easy. It tapers down one millimeter to an 18 millimeter stainless steel pin buckle that features the Longines wing hourglass insignia embossed across the top. This is one of those rare instances when a brand is not looking at the strap as a way to cut costs, instead show a way that they are going to go the extra mile to really position the product in a successful light. Turning our attention to the dial of the watch, first we need to address the curved sapphire crystal, which provides cover and clear view below. Now the dial is a lovely sector configuration or at least style with familiar design cues from the early mid 20th century models, yet imagine for a contemporary execution with a few standout characteristics. The dial is divided into a couple distinct areas. Starting along the outside edge, we have simple printed minute track outboard of the hour markers, which alternate between Arabic numerals at the quarter hours and linear hash marks for the remaining hours. The dial surface on which these printed elements find their home is a brushed silver surface that casts a soft and elegant reflection while also changing the color from a mid-tone steely silver to an almost vibrant white surface where the light is most concentrated. As we approach the center of the dial, the surface changes from the brushed metal look to a matte white with a crosshair running through the middle from both directions. The Longines logo is found at the top of this section, including the applied winged hourglass emblem and the word automatic is found between the faceted date window positioned below it and the blue steel sword hands above it. Shorter hands are found on tank shaped models for hand clearance as they move past the narrow passage along the sides of the case. And this is a classic example of just that. Loom is absent from the dial, which isn't unusual for a dressier model like this. So just like the water resistance, don't see that as disappointing. Although having loom on a dress watch could be a bonus. Overall, this is an elegant execution reminiscent of some of those higher end brands that specialize in tank cases, yet it does have its own distinguishing features. In terms of general wearability, if you had to translate this one over to a round case equivalent, I would say it wears rather true to a 37 to 38 millimeter watch. Turning the watch over, we find the flat solid snap case back that is decorated with an old school Longines logo in the center and some standard reference information surrounding it. Inside is the automatic Longines caliber, the L59 
2, which started its life out as the ETA A20L01, a small diameter movement that fits in this case as well as also other watches like the excellent Legend Diver 36mm and some other smaller dress watches. In terms of specifications, the L592 is capable of 45 hours of power reserve on a full wound mainspring while operating at more traditional specs than some of the other Longines calibers out there, coming in at 4 hertz, 28,800 vibrations per hour. Accuracy and reliability are also a focus for Longines, and this movement is on point in that department. As this particular example, and this is just anecdotal evidence, but looking at this model that we reviewed here, is running within cost chronometer specifications at various positions, which has been the case for a lot of non COSC certified movements we've tested from Longines. It's definitely a solid movement choice here. It is going to be perhaps a step behind something like the L888 caliber from Longines, which is going to have that extended power reserve, but still a very solid movement made for Longines by ETA, and this is one that's just going to tick away with a lot of peace of mind. It also does feature hacking and hand winding, and again, that power reserve of 45 hours. So now to unpack looking at the Longines Dolce Vita. As specified at the beginning of the video, most brands don't really prioritize this rectangular case shape as a cornerstone of their design language. And that's done for a reason, because this is not gonna be a design that everyone is going to love. Some people are just not going to find a use case for a rectangular dress watch. But then what happens is so many brands move away from this design style that you're left with not a lot of options out there, at least maybe not as many options as many consumers would want, especially when dealing with an enthusiast crowd. And when you're talking about kind of the standard of watches that really follow this formula, many people are going to look at the Reverso as well as the Cartier Tank as the top two rectangular case shapes out there. They are true icons. But as you go down, you just basically see recreations of those two designs in terms of the layout of the dial and just the approach to the case. Here, we don't necessarily have an exact copy of that. You certainly could see some Cartier uh, Tank American in terms of the case profile and being a little bit more elongated uh, from that top to bottom. But generally, I see this as kind of the rectangular case shape equivalent of the Longines sector dial, which is one of my personal favorites from the entire collection. This one's gonna wear pretty true to a 37 to 38 millimeter watch. And I think in terms of the general package is going to follow suit and be one of the more wearable options in this price range in terms of a design style of this choice. Getting a reliable movement on the inside and just classic looks from Longines. And this is just when a brand is able to move in and adapt their design language into a model or design formula of a case style that many people are accustomed to, but maybe not accustomed to from that brand. This just simply works in this instance. Longines is able to adapt much of their design cues within something like this with relative ease. And when you're talking about you like this rectangular case shape, you have $1,000 to spend, maybe not quite going up into the thousands of dollars to spend for something like this, maybe just being a compliment to a rather complete collection or you just like this style. I think this is probably the definitive choice for $1,000 for a watch of this rectangular case shape design. All right, everyone. Well, thank you again so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell icon. That really does help out the channel. But also if you're in the market for this watch, check it out. It is available on teddybaldasar.com. Teddybaldasar.com is a full authorized dealer of all the brands that we carry. Quick and fast fulfillment, dedicated customer support. We also offer a full factory warranty for all of our products. So if something goes wrong, you're going to be covered. And ultimately how we're able to make this content possible on this channel as well as on our main channel is all through the selling of watches on our website. So apart from getting a great watch, you also are supporting the content. But guys, thank you again so much for watching. Be well, and I will see you all very soon.